Nothing says holidays in Hyrule like the festive nut cake. This is, in fact, a fruit cake. Don't stop watching. I promise it will be good. It's not that nasty stuff that boomers like. It's actually a super tasty pound cake with yummy dried fruits and nuts in it. Stick with me, I promise you'll like it. First, you're gonna need sauteed nuts. There's a link to my recipe in the description. These are also an excellent snack to have around the holidays, so it's worth making them. Chop them up. You'll also need dried fruit. I'm using a mixture of golden raisins, cranberries, and apricots, which I also chopped, but you can use whatever you like. Or leave it out, I won't judge. Mix all this mess up. Now we're gonna prep our loaf pan. Butter it lightly with some butter or shortening. Now add a little bit of flour and shake it around so it covers every nook and cranny. For extra insurance, I'm gonna put in a, some parchment to use as a slank. I may be overdoing it though, you probably don't need it. All right, for your dry goods, you'll need some flour, baking powder, and a little bit of salt. Whisk to combine. In the bowl of your stand mixer, combine butter, cream cheese, and sugar. Start whipping. You can use a hand mixer or you can even try doing it by hand. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it though. Scrape down the bowl a few times so it gets super whipped. When it's done, it should look like this. Now the eggs. Go slow. You're gonna add them one at a time. And don't add more until the other is incorporated. Once all your eggs are in, crank it to medium high for about two minutes so that the whole thing gets even more air. Alright, now you can add your dry goods. Slowly at first, crank it to high for a minute. Alright, don't forget those nuts and fruit from before. Add those in. And a little bit of vanilla. Once your cake mixture is all mixed up, you can spoon it into your prepared pan. Smooth out the top. Before we bake it, let's make a yummy topping, which is made of more sauteed nuts and dried fruit, and a little bit of sugar. Mix it all up. Sprinkle them on top. Now let's bake it for about an hour and 25 minutes, maybe more, maybe less. Depends on your oven. But I would suggest that you put some foil on top of the cake at the 45 minute mark so it doesn't get too brown on top. Once a toothpick inserted comes out clean, it's done. Remove carefully from the oven and allow to cool for 30 minutes. Then you can remove it from the pan and let it cool completely. See, it's not a dense brick that old people like. It's actually pretty good on its own. But if you toast it lightly and serve it with a little bit of mascarpone cheese and a fruity tea, it might just give you superpowers. Nut cake is a fruit cake, but it's yummy. We're coming up to the end of the video, and I just want to make sure to remind you to tune in next Monday, December 23rd at 1 p.m. Pacific Time. I'll be doing a live chat, talking Christmas, talking the holidays, talking gaming, and answering any questions that you might have. Uh, so tune in. See you then. Thanks for watching.
If you're looking for another Zelda holiday video, check out last year's Christmas Worthy Roast. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps my channel out a bunch. See you next time. Bye!